Hey everybody, welcome to another Good E-Reader video tutorial. My name is Michael. Today I'm going to teach you how to load ebooks into the Pocketbook Color Lux. So this is an e-reader using e-ink Triton 2, which is color uh, e-ink, and it has a front lit display. So it'll via this little slider bar here, it'll allow you to read in the dark, which is very compelling because it's really the first e-reader to allow you to do this. So I'm going to show you how to load in your own ebooks using Calibre, Adobe Digital Editions, and Dropbox. Here's the deal. This e-reader runs a myriad of formats. Uh, I believe it reads close to about like eight different formats. You can see them all here. So I'm going to use EPUB because it's the most commonly available format. It's the same type of ebook format that you would find at, say, Barnes & Nobles, Kobo, uh, Smashwords, and a ton of others. So in many cases, you would want to use Calibre. It's one of the better programs that allows you a lot of flexible ebook management. It's a free download. It'll be in this video's description on YouTube on our channel at youtube.com slash goody reader. Once you install it and plug your e-reader into your computer and press the PC link button, so this button would appear on your e-reader, it'll appear here. And you can see what's on your device by clicking here. These are books that I loaded via Calibre. So I'm going to click on library and I'm going to click on add book. I'm going to click on a book here. It's a sample book rock chick revolution and there's a few w ways that I could actually transfer this to my device but first of all I'm going to show you a little bit of what Calibre could do on a basic level to allow you to organize your ebook collection a little bit more effectively if I right click and click on convert book and then convert book individually I can actually convert this book from an EPUB to a Kindle compatible format say a Mobi say I want to load this book on my Kindle the Kindle doesn't allow for EPUB so I'd have to convert it to Mobi and that's a Kindle friendly format format. AZW3 is also Kindle friendly. And then you see a myriad of other formats here. And you could do this with any book that does not have digital rights management. Another kind of cool thing is metadata. Metadata allows you to get you know ratings, stars, organize your ebook collection. Uh, in a lot of cases, if you've ever downloaded books from the internet, often the book uploader's name would be in the title, or maybe the author's name would be in the title. So it's a Kristen Ashley hyphen rock chick revolution. It makes ebook discovery on your device if you have a lot of titles a little bit harder to manage. Some people like uh, the alphabetical, so being able to search for the author's first name first or maybe their last name first. You can organize it any way you want and this would work. I, if a, a lot of cases too, if you download books from the internet, it may not have the cover. And so you can actually fetch the covers from Open Library, Amazon, Google. And this is cool too because sometimes a book will have multiple covers. You may want a different cover. Once you establish everything here, you can just click OK. It'll save everything. So. If I want to just send this one book to my e-reader, I could just right click, send to device, and then send to main memory. And it quickly happened. And you can see it's here. Alternatively, if I know the ebooks I have are all you know formatted correctly in the in the EPUB format, if they are have the right cover art and everything like that, I could just automatically click on device click add books and then just like highlight all these books if I wanted to and it would just add them all to the e-reader at once. So Calibre is one of my favorite programs. We have here Adobe Digital Editions. This is a free download as well. The reason why you would you want to use this program is if you actually purchased ebooks from other retailers selling them in EPUB format or even PDF with uh, their digital rights management system. You would have to register an account and then authorize your computer. It's fairly painless. 
uh, once you, it's basically just setting up an online account it takes like about five minutes or so and then you could start adding paid books it'll sometimes ask you when you're adding a book to your e-reader um, your username and password or maybe just a password the passwords always the credit card number that you use to purchase the book and that just verifies that the purchase is yours so in order to copy ebooks to uh, you know our, our color lux here we would have to add to library click on a book here and then you can see here a little red thing tells you you can't put it there but it turns the green when it comes uh, to the color lux I could just drop it and it's on my e-reader now it's fairly sluggish if I actually click on this to see what books are here. It's because this e-reader does come bundled with, you know, hundreds of free and free books in different languages. One of the cool things about Adobe Digital Editions is instead of having to delete each one of these one by one on your e-reader, you can just like highlight them all. So I'm just clicking on one, pressing shift and then clicking here and then just hitting the delete button and we'll actually delete all of these books off on my e-reader so you can see I have 447 more books if I merely wanted to delete all the pre-installed books I can just use this program to do it for me so this is a uh, fairly popular as well uh, one of the things I wanted to point out before I show you Dropbox is Windows Explorer Mainly, a lot of people, when they want to copy books to the e-reader, they just simply drag and drop. Now, this is the directory structure of it here. So, if you wanted to browse photos, you would copy them to the photo direct directory. It does have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It doesn't have external speakers, so if you want to copy MP3s in here or audiobooks, you can copy them into the music folder. And then you have various directories that are English language and other language specifically. So if I wanted to d delete Spanish, French, Italian, I could just delete all of these directories and then in turn it would delete all of the books. You can see here digital editions. When I copy the book with Adobe Digital Editions, it actually created its own directory. So it helps house all your paid content. So this is how the internal directory structure here works. If you only have a few books on your e-reader, you can do what we did during our review and just copy them to the root directory here and it will show up in your library. But most often you would want to probably have more effective directory management than just basically copying everything here because, you know, it could quickly get out of hand if you have like 100 or 200 books all listed here and then trying to find them. I just recommend creating your own directories. Finally, we have Dropbox. Dropbox is free, gives you a bunch of gigs just for signing up. Once you spend about two minutes and start a free account, you can sign in. Now, what Dropbox is, it's a, a cloud locker. So the the color Lux actually has a web browser so what you can do is you can type in your dropbox.com address into the web browser and then log into the account that you set up on your PC and then you can have access to all of the ebooks that you actually have in Dropbox you simply just via the touch screen click on a book it'll download the book right to your e-reader and then interject it into your library so if you have multiple devices like a cell phone or a tablet and and whatnot you can have all of your ebooks stored here in Dropbox so you can even store your music and, and videos in here too to access with any of your devices now of course all you do is click upload choose files click on a book it seemed to have gone through okay and now we have the book on here so I could just again enter Dropbox to be the web browser and I'm good to go so today I showed you Adobe Digital Editions, Calibre, 
Windows Explorer, and Dropbox. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know, and I could seek to address any kind of questions or queries that you folks may have. Check out our website here at goodyreader.com for all the latest news, previews, and industry coverage. Uh, we review pretty well every e-reader that hits the market, even kind of ones like this that maybe don't get a lot of national headlines, but it's a kind of cool and innovative piece of technology. So for goodyreader.com and a tutorial on how to load ebooks on the pocketbook color lux. My name is Michael and everybody take care.